which recently published a column that was titled, quote, Ben Carson for President. Now, in just a moment, I'll ask him if he has any plans to pursue a career in politics. But first, pollster Frank Luntz recently convened a focus group of California voters and asked them to watch and dial the doctor's popular speech. Let's take a look at this. Sean, the words of Benjamin Carson have really struck a chord with a lot of Americans. We're here in Los Angeles with a group of swing voters, and we want to know what they think of his language. But before we go to them, let's go to a clip that dialed particularly well. Remember, the red line represents swing Republicans, the green line swing Democrats. On the deficit and debt, man, does this guy score well. Really, that language connected. Now, tell me, Dr. Carson, what was so powerful? Give me a word or phrase to describe him. Passionate. Articulate. Sincere. Bold and real. Analytical. Self-reliant. Truthful. Sincere. Believable. Provocative. Is this the kind of guy that you want to see in politics? Is this the kind of guy, yet yeah, why yes? He's, he's a guy of, he speaks his mind, and he's very open-minded and Why yes? Passionate. He speaks for physicians, I think, basically. I liked his sense of fairness. I felt he was very fair in what he was saying. What is it about him that cut across partisan lines? You never see that in politics these days. He seemed to care. He seemed to genuinely care about what he was talking about. To me, he was just like me. He was just a regular, ordinary person. Do you think that he was too aggressive? The president was there. Some people thought that it was inappropriate for him to say what he said. You're, you're nodding your head no. You think it was appropriate? I think it was appropriate because you have to hit on the topics that people want to talk about, and we can't keep candy coating everything. So, and this is our country. What does that mean? It belongs to all of us, not just to the people in Washington. All of us. Do you think the people in Washington listen to you? No. Do you think he listens to you? Yes. He yes. being? Dr. Carson. Yes. So there's a language there. Keep going. Tell and like me. you said, it's not American to bite your tongue, to hold back and not say what you think. You guys agree with that? Yes. Yeah. yes. It's a good way to get out of the segment. Sean, there aren't many people right now who have the language to connect to the American people, whether it's American values, as you speak of, or common sense, as she spoke of. But there's something about the doctor's message and delivery that really does connect across partisan lines. Very impressive. Back to you. It sounds like Frank may have found some, well, Carson campaign volunteers and still with us to talk about the possibility of a career in politics. The man himself, Dr. Benjamin Carson, just a quick poll. How many of you would like to see Dr. Carson run? <laughs> wow. Okay. That's everybody. <laughs> what, what do you make of that? Um, well, I've always said that the only way I would go into politics is if God grabbed me by the collar and stuck me there. Um, it's, it's not something that has been an ambition of mine. But I, I do have a great desire to get our populace educated. Because if, if we get our populace educated, they will be able to decipher the truth from what's false. And if we don't start doing that, we're going to go down the same path as all the pinnacle nations that preceded us. You, you have said, and I've read a lot of speeches now that you have given, and in commencement speeches and elsewhere, and even I think you mentioned in this speech, that doctors played a very pivotal role in terms of our founding and our framers yes. and you want to see doctors more involved in politics I do because you know doctors and scientists uh, learn to make decisions based on facts they use empirical data uh, as opposed to ideologues who don't really have any facts to make their decisions on can I a ask um, you retire in June yes um, I'm even hesitant to ask you this, but I think I have to because it's on the table. Uh, do you consider, are you aligned with a party? Would you, would you want to answer who you voted for for president? Uh, I'm uh, independent. Okay. And, uh, you know, I tend to align myself closer with parties that 
uh, are doing things or advocating things that would be good for the country. And, and that should tell you who I voted for. I won't go any further than that. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll take a, anyone want to take any bets? But <laughs> All right. 